This is a quick video about what's included with the Ultra Sabres Emperor's Hand that I'm selling. Um, so we'll just quickly go over this and then we'll show things in a little more detail. Uh, first of all, there's the actual lightsaber itself. Uh, it's been uh, lightly weathered um, to give it a slightly used look. Uh, it is actually with a purple LED and it's got the white flash on flash. You'll be able to see that a little bit clearer when I put it with a blade in a moment. Uh, also included, there is um, a little spacer which can be used for making the blade stick out just slightly further. A blade plug. Uh, in addition, um, a belt clip so that you can wear it while cosplaying. Other than the two batteries that are in there, it comes with four extra batteries which are 800 milliamps and four batteries that are 1200 milliamps so they last a little bit longer there are three blades included two mid-grade blades uh, of varying lengths and then um, a particularly nice one is the ripper blade um, it is a mirrored katana uh, it is uh, three of four so he only made four of them um, so there aren't too many of these in existence and let's see if we can show you this mirroring effect here so you can see all of the reflection showing up it's actually an absolutely beautiful blade uh, this one is obviously not suitable for combat uh, but it is an excellent cosplay accessory uh, these two blades are both polycarbonate blades so they are suitable for sparring uh, it comes with the seven sound fonts in addition to the silent fonts uh, so we've got um, Obsidian, Black Star, Sith, an Ancient Saber, which is kind of like, um, you know, sounds like an old worn out saber. And then ones that are kind of loosely themed on Episode 1, Episode 2 and Episode 6. Again, I'll show you some of the sounds later. The final thing included is the battery charger itself, brand new in the packaging. And it can charge two batteries at a time. So, let's go over the Sabre a little bit more. So, we're going to get these plugs first of all. And you put the spacer in like that, just drop it in. And then you just put the plug in itself. I did put a thumb screw on there, so it can be hand tightened. Obviously a little harder to do one handed, but you get the idea and a single button press will activate the saber and um, not sure if you can see too clearly here yeah you can't really see the plug just because it's too bright for the camera but um, when you're looking at it it's got like a nice silver core and then there's a ring of purple light around it when you actually click the button quickly you get the flash on clash which is white press it again to deactivate that when it gets a collision there are multiple swings and clashes and then press and hold it and it powers down so I'm going to, just going to show you how that looks with the blades and I'll show you how it looks with um, the katana as well. So, again, give me just a moment here. So, I'm just going to put the katana in first of all. And that's, this is absolutely beautiful. Um, so, basically, um, I'm going to do the thumb screw up again. And then when I switch this on you can see all these beautiful lightning effects in the blade and again you still have that mirroring effect as you can see behind it looks absolutely beautiful with the hilt and depending on how you orient it inside the sabre uh, you can get it to show the same colour on both sides or it can look slightly more blue on one side slightly more magenta on the other side so again I'll just power that down 
show you how that looks with the actual sparring blades as well. So again, let's show you how that flash on flash works or, or the lock up. It's a little more obvious in person, but you should hopefully get the idea of it when you're looking at it on camera here. And again, let's just clash it. So in terms of changing the sound fonts, it's pretty easy to do. Instead of a quick hit to switch it on, you press and hold it. So currently it's on Black Star. If I press it once, it's on the Sith sound font now. And then press and hold it again. Confirmed. And you can hear it's got a completely different sound effect now. So same thing for all the other fonts I'll briefly go through. And this is one of my particular favourites, actually. This is called Ancient Sabre. Confirmed. And I love how this one powers down. As I noted, there are three fonts that sound like the varying sabers, or just the, the, the basic sound of the sabers from episodes one, two, and six. So I'll just show you those briefly. Oops! Accidentally just switched back on the ancient saber. So again, quick button press switches it on and off. Long button press enters the setup. Episode one. Now, all of these sounds are completely replaceable, and um, it's based on the amount of memory the fonts take up. So, depending on the fonts you choose, I've had one saber that I was able to get 12 different fonts on, and another one that's got some really quite large fonts, and they, um, I was only able to get four or five. With this current setup, um, there are seven fonts plus the silence. Silence. Confirm. Great for not disturbing the neighbours when you pro want to practice sparring. So you swing around, no clashes sounds whatsoever. The, you can still make the lock-up happen and the little flash. It's just you don't get any sound associated with it. And then the final font that we haven't seen is the, the default Obsidian font, which is a proprietary font that comes from Ultra Sabres. Okay, so there you have it. As you can see, uh, it represents substantial value for money. As I say, the Katana blade from Ripper Blades is um, three or four, so they only made four of them. You've got the Sabre itself, which is the lavender slash purple color, and um, it has the white flash on clash. Uh, it has the Obsidian V4 sound. So, um, currently it's installed with seven fonts plus the silence. Again, those are completely customizable. The two different size blades. The holder for clipping it onto your belt. The extra batteries and charger. 
blade plug and the little extension here so that you can make your blades sit out a little bit further and they'll still lock into place just fine and then again here's just a little summary of the fonts and I'll be sending this along as well uh, if you have any questions there should be a link somewhere near this video or um, just contact me on the eBay link and um, otherwise um, you guys um, have a good one and may the force be with you